My name is Katherine Giles, and I'm the curatorial assistant here in the section of invertebrate zoology at the Carnegie Museum of Natural History. If you're anything like I am, and you've been on social media within the last year, you've probably seen the moth meme. As fun as memes can be, this moth meme was actually based on real fact, and today I'd like to talk to you about why that is. There are several main theories as to why moths are attracted to light. An organism's attraction to a light source is called phototaxis. This can be either a positive response, I love lamp, where they go towards a light, or this could be a negative response, please no, no, where they're averse, where they go away from this light. Moths exhibit both of these characteristics. For the moths that do come to a light, we have several base theories. The first of which is transverse orientation. Transverse orientation is a theory that states organisms use a distant source of light and travel at a fixed angle to it in order to navigate into space. So moths, having grown up from this primordial ooze and not having grown up with these artificial lights that we use today, use the moon and other celestial bodies to navigate into open space. So with transverse orientation, a moth sees a distant fixed light source and travels at a fixed angle to it to orient itself in space. When you have something like a street lamp or an overhead light, as opposed to a celestial body, these moths don't know how to navigate around that. And so they will frequently circle and circle and circle and spiral and spiral and spiral until they get really close to it. Moths see on a different light spectra than we do as humans. They can see the ultraviolet and the infrared. Flowers will actually reflect the light that is present from the moon and they will glow with this kind of ultraviolet inflorescence. Moths will come in when they think this light is the inflorescence of a flower and just hit it. The last theory and one of the most cool theories in my opinion is that moths come to a light because they think it mimics sex pheromones. Female moths, when they're calling for a mate, will release a spray of pheromones out into the air. These pheromones are a mix of all kinds of different chemicals, but to moths' eyes, they appear almost infrared at times. This is not with all moth species. So when a male moth sees a light that emits infrared light, sometimes it thinks that it is a female pheromone. So it will come to a light thinking that it is going to copulate and going to propagate its species, and it's actually not. This is why sometimes when you do a light trap sampling, you see a disproportionate amount of male moths coming to the light as opposed to female moths. There are actually some female moths that don't even have wings or that don't fly. Each species sees something different in this light. Something else that we can take away from all of this is that humans are altering what happens with insects. Right now, there's an immense insect decline, and that could be in the moth world partially due to all of these artificial lights and this natural response for moths to come and be attracted to this light. Birds, bats, and other higher level organisms understand these artificial feeding stations and they know that moths come to them. So they'll come and they'll just feed away and this can adversely affect a lot of moth populations. So something to think about before turning on your porch light at night. If you liked this video, you should definitely like and subscribe to our page and also visit us here at the Carnegie Museum of Natural History.